Rachel. So good Hi, to see you again. You <laughs> I'm great. Thanks so much for joining me. Let's jump right in, shall we? Absolutely. Sounds good. Great. At Santa Fe Genzyme, a large part of our work focuses on patient populations that are often overlooked. Women's Lunch Place does the same, welcoming all vulnerable women. So Rachel, can you tell us about the Women's Lunch Place philosophy and why it's so important? Absolutely. So we try to keep our philosophy really simple. We just treat everyone with dignity and respect. Anyone who identifies as a woman is welcome to come in. Um, and that's really our only requirement. We don't have any you know, burdensome intake process. We do know most of our ladies, but they don't even have to share their name if they don't want to. Um, we try to just be as you know, welcoming and have as few barriers as possible to, to coming in and getting services. You just mentioned low barriers to service. Can you elaborate a bit more on, on why focusing on maintaining low barriers for services at the shelter is critical? Yeah, absolutely. We really, I mean, at the end of the day, we want to serve as many women as possible with the greatest care as possible. We're seeing so many women who are experiencing so many struggles, whether it's mental illness, physical illness, substance use, domestic violence, a trauma history. Um, there's so many different things that folks are dealing with that we don't want to have any extra barriers that are unnecessary for getting folks in the door and getting services. Um, Again, this is a really vulnerable population, most of whom have fallen through so many cracks that we just want to be there to, to help out as best we can. And you and your team definitely play a pivotal role in that. So tell me a bit more about how Direct Care's work supports Healthy Meals and advocacy and all of the other programs <laughs> at Women's Lunch Place. And maybe if you can squeeze it in, what's your larger role within the shelter? Yeah, no, it's a great question. We all work really closely together. Um, my role is the shelter manager. I'm a social worker and I, I oversee the direct care team. We always joke that the direct care team is pretty much the welcoming committee for everyone who comes in the door, greet everyone with a smile, see what it is that they need for the day. Um, for some folks, that's really just a cup of coffee, maybe a hot shower. Um, we provide lots of different services. Um, really, we're just trying to hit those basic needs. And we always say if somebody comes in and they're hungry, they're thinking about food. If you're not sure where you're going to sleep that night, you're thinking about a bed. And so that's where the work always has to begin. Once those basic needs are met, we, we work really closely with all the other departments, particularly advocacy, to see what other needs there are, how we can help move folks on. Um, so really, it's just where everything begins, because again, until those basic needs are met, it's really hard to focus on, on moving forward in other ways. And with COVID and the ever-changing environment, are you seeing anything right now that might affect your work in the next year? And, and if so, how is your team preparing? Yeah, we're definitely trying to prepare for that. We've seen such an increase. I guess the first two things that come to mind would be food insecurity, you know, housing destabilization. Um, we've seen a lot more women coming and seeking services, particularly around those two, those two issues. Um, we've started a triage process now where the direct care team is more, you know, asking questions. Oh, what brings you in today? Still not, you know, that traditional intake model, but really trying to guide folks in the right direction. Um, I supervise the clinical internship program, which is primarily social work students. And so we've brought on four clinical interns this year. Um, they're also going to be able to help us work with the women and, again, just help more, more people who are coming in. Um, so really, it's just a combination of you know, scaling up the staff, bringing on clinical interns, um, and then working on you know, the issues that are bringing our guests in in the first place. But there's definitely been a lot of changes going on this year. <laughs> And I think we'll continue. Well, Absolutely. thank you so much, Rachel, for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope I get to well, see you, you soon. Thank you so much. No, it was my pleasure. <laughs> Take thank care. Thank you very much.